And I, I, I hearken back to the story of David when he picked up those five smooth stones and threw one of them, hallelujah. And I think about that and I think about the five elders we have on the panel today, hallelujah, smooth and polished, hallelujah. And I, I just say to Eddie Long and all of his uh, constituents and all, all those to be down to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, you know, the prophet, he's got some smooth stones he's going to be throwing, hallelujah, glory to God. I mean, we're not backing down, glory to God. We're not giving up, glory to God, hallelujah. We're going to keep on fighting this good fight of faith, hallelujah. We're yes, going to keep Lord. on the firing line, glory to God. We're not going yes. anywhere, hallelujah. We're five smooth stones, hallelujah. And a lot of smooth stones in here, glory to God, because we're all under the prophet. Yes. We are finished. Yes. We are polished, hallelujah, yes. glory to God, hallelujah. And I want to continue in with Timothy, uh, second, Timothy, second chapter. And the things which you have heard of me and my many witnesses is the same commit you to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. I thank God for the prophet who has taught us this day, hallelujah, that we may teach others also, glory to God. I thank God for the prophet's wisdom, hallelujah, and, and, and all that he's imparting to the people this day, glory to God. Pray much to the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to close with Revelation 19 and verse 11 saying, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. So we are here to judge because God is judged. We're here to make war because God is here to make war. We're going out to Atlanta for spiritual warfare to defeat the sodomites and let, And we're not going for a tie, amen. We, we, you ain't going to go to the scorecard. We're going out there for a clear and concise victory in the name of Jesus. A, a good whooping. We're going to put on the sodomites. But we got a mighty God and a great and fearless prophet. So we're going out there. Dancing, singing, shouting yes. to the glory of God. And, and I proclaim that Atlanta is ours. We're going to shake that city up, and you never will be the same. I want Eddie Lone to know, Chris Tucker to know, Tyler Perry to know, all y'all devils know that true light is coming to Atlanta. Yes. And we're coming to make more war, and we're coming to win the war. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank God for the great panel that went forth in Jesus' name. And I want to go to Philippians, the second chapter. Amen. Close in verse 8 and it reads, and being found in a fashion as a man. You hear that? Homosexuals and sodomites? A man. Right. I know a, 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 a half man said a man. <laughs> he humbled himself right. and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And, uh, you know, Christ paid too big of a sacrifice for it to be sodomites and lesbians in the church. That's why we're going to be death in Jesus' name. Verse 9, Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. Verse 10, That every name, that at the name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of the things in the earth, things in heaven, and things in the earth, and things are under the earth. Verse 11, And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The Bible said Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. I pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord. I want to close the book of Romans, 16th Amen. chapter, verses 25 and 26. Amen. Now to him there's a power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery which is kept secret since the world began. But now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets. Amen. Not man, own vain um, imagination. According to commandment of the everlasting God, amen, made known to all nations. I don't care if it's Africa, amen, or uh, Jamaica, wherever. Made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Again, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And without obedience, you cannot have faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We we'll turn to a scripture in 2 Timothy 2 and beginning at verse 19 it says nevertheless the foundation of God standeth sure yeah. powerful scripture here telling you that there's something sure about the true church it ain't phony it ain't fake watch this having this seal the Lord knoweth them that are his you can't hide from God and you better stop playing church yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. You want to get any long and all the any longs alike out of the church, you've got to join true light. Amen. Who else is standing up? Who 
Everywhere I talk to people and I've asked them what's going on, where are the pastors, where are the people who will stand up and defend the faith? And they shake their head and they lower their head. And I hold my head up high. When they raise their head back up, they see my eyes looking right at them. And you know why you know why I do that? Because I'm really talking about you. Yeah. You can't control your pastor, but where are you at? What you gonna do? Because the hour is growing late. The time is at hand. You got to hurry up and make your calling and election sure. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Let's give the panel a hand tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, they did a wonderful job speaking the truth. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. You're looking at some mighty men of valor. Hallelujah. Some real men. And as it was brought out, five smooth stones. Hallelujah. Ready to be thrown at that big old Goliath. Well, here we come. We're running right to you. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, I'd like to give honor first and foremost to uh, Jesus, who is the only wise God. Hallelujah. He is the creator. Hallelujah. And giving honor to our leader, a true man of God in Prophet H. Walker. Hallelujah. One who speaks for God. Hallelujah. And I'm giving honor to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I greet you in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Wonderful word that went forth today. And uh, this battle that we have in store for us, it's much bigger than Eddie Long, Amen. as you already know. Much bigger than Eddie Long. Uh, we knew a long time ago that Eddie Long was a false prophet by way of Second Peter. Hallelujah. And when you read the word of God, it's not hard to tell that these men love money. Amen. And they have the love of money, which is the root of all evil. It's not hard to tell. We knew this. So it was no amazement when it came out but the amazement was the the sickness of the sin to be so nasty yes. and so abominable not just to be a sodomite to be but to be a pedophile too All right. wow yeah. glory so I thank God to be in the right place in the church of the living God a man standing on which is the pillar in the ground of the truth and the text today I believe it was in Romans uh, chapter 15 uh, uh, verse 4 says what, For whatsoever things Were written aforetime Or beforehand uh, In the Old Testament Or what not Were written for our learning That we through patience Or perseverance And comfort of the scripture Might have hope And we know that real Christians We have comfort And receive patience By the word of God Amen. Amen. Verse number five says, now the God of patience. Jesus is the God of patience yeah. and consolation. That means comfort. He's the God of all comfort. Hallelujah. Now, whatever things were written beforehand are written for our learning. Whether it was written in the Old Testament, I think the Bible says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine. Amen. So we're talking about all scripture is given by inspiration of God for our learning, for our comfort. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 20, I'll start at verse 1. It says this, because it's written for our learning in this dispensation. Old Testament, but written for our learning. It says, when thou, go out, when thou goest out to battle against thy enemies and seest horses and chariots, and the people more than thou, we know that they're coming with a lot of sodomites, lesbians, and wicked people. Not just them, but partakers and people who stand up for sodomites. Amen. So it's not just them, it's also the partakers who are guilty of this thing. And there's going to be a lot of them. There's going to be more. Well, actually, in the spiritual realm, we know that there's more with us than there is with them. I think it says, he that is in me is greater than he that, than he that is in the world. So imagine all of us, if all of us go out there and we have the Holy Ghost, and if all of us have something within us to defeat this battle. Yes. Hallelujah. Even